Number eight then from the 2016 Advanced Higher Maths, another six mark question, just a little one on complex numbers. Here, here's a complex number, part A, just for one mark, plot Z on an Argand diagram. Well, an Argand diagram is just a coordinate diagram where you plot the real values of the coefficients of the two parts. One thing here is, there's no mention of Z being X's and Y's, so I shouldn't really put X and Y here. This is the real part, and this is the imaginary part. Whether you put just R and I, or R, E and I, M. But they're not going to penalise you if you write X and Y there. Then, it's just plotting a point. That point is root 3. I'll just put root 3 about here. Should have put it underneath, maybe. Root 3. And one down on the imaginary axis, negative one. So the point goes here. Now you could perfectly well just call that point root three along and one down. Notice what you shouldn't call it is root three negative i, but if you did, they're just going to let you off this time. However, that is the point root three minus i. It's usual to put the position vector of the point in especially if you're going to change it into polar form, which is the distance from the origin and the angle from the real axis. Anyway, having this point here, whether you mark these parts here in or just say it's root 3, negative 1, that's worth a mark. Oh, put it right on it. Now, part B. Let W be some multiple of that complex number, where that multiple is greater than zero. Write this in polar form. Well, first of all, what's z in polar form? Well, you recognise the triangle, you don't need to go through it all. I'll just pop that mark to the side now, because it was root three for that side, and it was one for this side, so it must have been two for that part. And you also recognise that that comes from, I'll just put it in degrees here, you can use degrees. But make sure if you're using degrees, you put the degree sign in, because without a degree sign, any angle measure will assume to be in radians, and 30 would be wrong in radians. So for this, I've got the modulus of z is 2, and the argument of z is, now that's a negative 30, but I think that I'll write that as a negative pi upon 6, which means the length of this is just a times it, so the modulus of W will be 2A, but its argument will be exactly the same because all you've done is moved out in the same direction for A times the distance. I'll write it again here. Argument of W will again be negative pi upon 6. Getting that's worth a mark. And then you get the other mark just for writing it out. So what is W? It's going to be, well, it was 2A times, and then it's just cos negative pi upon 6 plus i sine negative pi upon 6. And that gets you the second mark. Now part C for three marks, express w to the power 8 in this form here. Where it's mentioning x and y as integers, but it's got some number at the front and it's got a to the power n, which it would be anyway. Well, w to the power 8 will be this to the power 8. So it will be 2a cos oops, negative pi upon 6. But there is something you could do here, just by using the odd and even functions. The cosine of a negative angle is equal to the cosine of the angle. And... The sine of a negative angle is equal to the negative of the sine of the angle, so maybe I'll put it in that way. Pi upon 6, all to the power 8. So that would be, do I have enough brackets there? 8 times, sorry, this to the power 8, so that'll be 2 to the power 8, a to the power 8, times the cosine of 8 times this is 8 pi upon 6, minus i sine, and for that part again it's going to be 8 pi upon 6. Oh, put a bracket in. Now 2 to the power 8 is 256, so it's 256 
A to the 8. And then these you just work out yourself. Well, actually, you could just put them into a calculator because it's a calculated exam. Or you could just think of it separately. That's 4 pi upon 3. 4 pi upon 3 puts you into this quadrant here. So it's going to be the negative of the cos of, and let's just change it to pounds, shillings and pence, the negative of the cos of 60. So that's negative a half. And similarly for this, the sign again is negative, but negative of that makes it plus i times, and the sign of 60 is root 3 upon 2. Well, you could take the 2 out in the denominator, dropping that down to 128, a to the 8. Now it'll just be minus 1 plus root 3i, or rather, the way they've got it, i root 3. Now it doesn't explicitly say stating the values of k, x and y, so that should do it. Oh, sorry, and the marks were get the modulus, so that was just power 8. Get the new argument, multiply the angle by 8, whether you left it in the original form or rearranged it, and then finally put it into the correct form. Now, an alternative to that would just be to go back to the Cartesian form, since the answer was in that Cartesian form, and just find power 8 of that. So that would have been a times root 3 minus i for w. So what's that to the power 8? Well, you could do a to the power 8, and then that bracket to the power 8, and use the big binomial expansion of that if you wished, but you shouldn't. Should have done it by the polar form anyway, using the Movros. Easier than that would just be to work up through the squares because it's it's a power of 2, power 8. So w squared would just be a squared times, then square this. So that's square the first, which is just 3, twice the product, that's minus 2, root 3i. Square the last, which should be plus 1, but in this case, because it's an i, it'll be minus 1. So that means it becomes a squared times 2 minus 2 root 3i. So we get a mark. Then you can get step up from power 2 to power 4 by squaring this. So that will be a to the power 4 and then square this part. So that will be square the first, 4. Twice the product will be 8, so minus 8 root 3. Let's put the i at the end. Square the last would normally be plus but that i squared will make it minus, and that'll be 4 threes are 12. So that's a to the 4 times negative 8 minus 8 root 3i. That would be a mark, you're getting closer. And then finally for power 8, just square it again. But I think before I square it again because of these numbers, I'll just take that 8 out and make it 8. a to the 4 times negative 1 minus root 3i. So finally, w to the power 4 would be squaring this, would be 64. I should have written w to the power 8 there, of course. a to the 8. Square the first, 1. Twice the product will be plus in this case. Plus 2 root 3i. The last one will be minus the square of that, because of the negative, the i squared. So it'll be minus 3. So that gives you negative 2 plus 2, taking the 2 out. 128 a to the 8 times just negative 1 plus root 3i or if they want it as i root 3, they can have it. That would be the last mark. So obviously you should have done it using Demovres.